Well, um, I think one of the penalties of thinking slightly ahead of the game uh, is a, a certain kind of uh, frustrated uh, um, incoherence. And uh, I think it's probably part and parcel of actually doing that. Um, I've never been actually on the crest of a wave of either fashion or interest, uh, or always uh, slightly missed it. Um, but uh, that doesn't mean to say that uh, the, 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 the background isn't, um, uh, those, uh, those uh, investments aren't really important. And I've had two major frustrations. One was, uh, again, when it came to a formal qualification, um, a research degree, that I got embroiled in, um, in, in uh, a physical chemistry problem, um, which had its own, uh, uh, its own interest. It turned out that if you try to grow, in this case, calcium oxalate crystals, um, that they never actually achieve the, uh, uh, the growth that they should do. They always underachieve. Uh, so they're like a, a howitzer that shell that never actually reaches its full trajectory, uh, or a bow and arrow where the arrow falls, uh, falls short. And we could never really understand this, and I struggled with this for a long, long time, uh, and really never came out uh, of it. And that, together with one or two other uh, issues, meant I couldn't really uh, produce a coherent MD, basically. Um, and uh, so I had to rather give that up. Any other pressures when you're doing a clinical job, having a family and so on and so forth, and particularly when you can't reproduce the results in another laboratory. But they were so consistent in Holland that I believe that, that was, um, they, they were real findings. And the story was solved by the fact that the, the crystals grow on certain sites, some of which can be masked by their sticking together. And essentially um, the solution never comes to equilibrium because the crystal sites seem to be, uh, seem to be obscured under ordinary circumstances. It took a phys physical chemist to, um, uh, to work that out. And then the other thing that puzzled me for a long, long time was the issue of um, the importance of intention and aspiration to particular patient results. Um, and it turns out, having thought it through a great deal, confused a lot of people as well as myself, and failed to write it up particularly clearly at the time, that uh, when we think of an objective, an intention, an particular outcome, the fall of shot, as it were, around that outcome is not random because there's effort required to achieve any particular result and effort means that overachievement is always going to be less common than underachievement. And so if you want to actually achieve a particular value in many different contexts, what you have to do is build in a margin uh, which actually will allow results to fall into the range that you want. And, but the importance of this is that declared targets or objectives are actually systematically mischievous. That you will actually systematically underachieve in these sorts of circumstances if you, uh, if you don't understand this principle. Well, it turns out, I mean, however many colleagues now believe that or will, will recognise it, I don't know, but the the use of a targeting analogy, a military analogy, particularly in America, has been enormously uh, important. And as far as I can see, most of it is nonsense because of this underachievement. Um, when you're a salesman, you understand the difference between what you hope to sell and what is really thought that you will sell. And uh, the same is true uh, in many of these uh, medical, uh, uh, medical situations. So there was some way in which I missed some of the formal academic um, possibilities and qualifications but uh, um, I hope um, that through the, or hoped that through the development of um, the expert system for renal anemia that uh, some of that could be made productive and in fact we uh, did undertake a number of randomized uh, um, uh, clinical trials of some size and demonstrated the uh, relevance of uh, the importance of designing outcomes or results uh, in advance. Um, so in a way I, um, I, I suppose that I wrote a number of uh, theses uh, more through publication than anything else in a number of, of topics and uh, the, um, the missionary element of medicine didn't, d didn't feature but I, uh, taking a lot of opportunities, uh, one can only be grateful for the, uh, uh, the potential that uh, one was able to bring to